Alright guys, good afternoon. Welcome back to Lufia 2. I'm the voice of Dog, and uh, last time, God, Smash, Smash is on top of it. You're not even in the call and you're on top of it. Jeez, dude. That's true. We got married. We, uh, we settled in a bit. Uh, had a kid. Kind of hung around for a year. Didn't really do anything. Uh, and then our child got kidnapped by a guy we saw previously in the past. Guy we didn't really put much stock in. Turned out to be a real tough opponent. But he's dead now, I think? And we are now leaving once again on Destiny. Again, fight Destiny, but different. Family Destiny, protect family. What's the point of fighting if you're not protecting someone? <laughs> you will die. You will die. Right, yeah, you gotta uh, reset their standards until they get to a long dagger, which you can easily accommodate at this point in the game, I think. <laughs> Everyone here is not really feeling too good after Gata's, and, and even though he's dead, they're still uh, they're a little nervous. What if another giant shows up? So I don't think we're actually supposed to be here. I think we're supposed to be... Where are we supposed to be, actually? I think we're supposed to be going... Hmm... Is it by Gordovan? I know we go to a shrine somewhere and someone is waiting for us. But I don't know which shrine. So I'm going to wander around for a few minutes, if you don't mind. <laughs> My apologies. Is it west of Gordovan? I don't think we ever went this way. If someone has a, you know, a clear direction, please feel free to post that. I won't mind. A name. A town. It is next. You got, you got me with that. That's true. It is always next. I feel like we've been here before. We've gone this way before. Where does this go? Oh, it's past Bound Kingdom. That's right, we're in Parcelite. That's way down the corridor. The corridor of progress that is this game's map. Ah, here we go. This is more next than the previous next. That made more sense in my head. Uh, I don't believe it's North Labyrinth. We already did that level. Ancient Tower is where we fought Gattas. Gattas? Thanks to Dectalon, I now cannot say his name at the same time. At all. I blame him. Port Town. We haven't seen a Port Town yet. Wow. Hey, strongest party. What's up? God, I'm so happy to see you guys. The, the first married JRPG tag team is great and all, but it, it's lacking a bit in the outright strength department. <laughs> I just like to imagine that these guys hung out and beat each other up for the past year. Also, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Descartes is very straightforward ideas about intimacy. Is it a sword? No, I'm not really that into it. Full party. How wonderful. I guess I should guess I should change up our rows, huh? This doesn't seem right. Look at this ass backwards party we've got here. So here we are in, oh no, trees! Trees and they have, <laughs> okay, first of all, Torrent is not, never mind, but they, they have googly eyes, I just noticed. <laughs> the 
the player in slot one takes a small amount more damage than the one in slot two. That is weird. So who has more defense? Guy, ever so slightly. I assume more than Zaxxon. Actually, not really. You'll have to excuse me, my voice is really not doing so well uh, today. I don't really get to choose when it works, but I make it do its thing. We have an agreement. <laughs> Torrent is just another, it's like Centipes. It doesn't make sense. It's just, just they use the wrong words, uh, letters. What? It's 100 Pez. <laughs> yeah. God, I almost read that as what it was supposed to be. La Flechia. That's another word. Damn it. You guys, come on. The meat flower. Come on, guys. Uh, isn't it supposed to be like Phrygia? Isn't that a flower? I'm gonna assume that's a flower. Perfectly normal flesh bones. I mean, that is a JRPG thing. Oh, they've got sleep attached to their attack. Let's see. <coughs> this area is dense with wildlife, and bees, and trees, and flowers, meat flowers. This place is quite dangerous. Rephalesia, yeah. <laughs> I think I was making up a flower. It's pretty easy to make up flower names. This game does that, actually, later on. It's kind of funny. Dectalon reminded me of something that I had forgotten about this game last stream, and that is that bees are routinely the most dangerous enemy in this game, often. Actually, I can think of one more dangerous enemy, but they're not nearly as common. Well, my wife is dead now. And she's alive. You'd think the game would have given you the second tier heal spell by now. There's just a mountain over here. Hang on. Hmm. Running away, kind of dangerous from these guys. Phantom Tree Mountain. Well, we definitely are not supposed to be here right now. Away we go. We have not gotten the clue for the thing that we should be doing here. We sort of gone next. <laughs> Also, I just want to remind people that head attack works against strong enemies, so bees should be especially vulnerable. Head attack was by far my strongest attack against Idora. That's one reason why I was able to win that fight, because I could just do 800 damage by using it twice. Hmm. Well, good enough. Yeah, Dekar! Picking up that strike. I love how there are multiple bee types in this region. Three different types of bees here. Small, medium, and iron. <laughs> yeah, metal bee. See if I can get rid of the large ones. Also, god, people are gonna start dying. I need to pay more attention, maybe. Bees are extremely fast. They are routinely going first. We cannot go before bees. This is not the way I wanted to start my relaxing Saturday morning. 
assaulted by bees. Water attack is sufficient. Good. Yeah. Better... Water better work on something with armor on it, because there's really no other thing you can think of that would conceivably do a thing. The elements don't really make sense. You just have to make loose connections. God, and this is like the best party I could think of having at this point in the game. Hello, port town that I missed. Walked right past that port town. Almost died. Got assaulted by bees. Oh. That's unfortunate. Oh no, we're stranded on this continent. We've reached the end of the continent. You know... I gotta give the game credit for giving us our next in the first NPC. Really impressive. Extremely efficient. God, please. We are covered in bee stings. And pollen. Probably poisonous pollen. We're so drowsy right now. No, it's okay. One night should be enough, I think. It's a vicious cycle. The bees attract the meat flowers, and the meat flowers <laughs> attract more bees. Oh, God, it keeps happening. The Ancient Cave? I'm sorry, we won't be doing the Ancient Cave this stream, guys. Please don't get excited for that. I, I would like to uh, try that. Oh, God, look at all this this magic. Here it is. It's stronger. Yay. Um, I will probably do like a separate stream for, for Ancient Cave because it takes so much time. Assuming I, you know, survive at all. Also, here's Rally. Here's the revive spell, finally. It's expensive. Uh, Blizzard. You can take that. Vortex. You can take that. I feel like giving Salon Rally is a bad idea because she's most likely to get knocked out. I think I'm gonna give However, it... However, having as many people as possible will be capable of restore the fight power. Yeah. I'll give it to Zaxxon, because he's got more defense, more HP. I think he's got a better chance of surviving. And we've always got items. It's just so much money. Soon that kind of money will be nothing to us, though. They'll be giving us, like, 30,000, uh... Oh, hey! I keep getting distracted by this game, but these are where... These are the towns where the first game starts. So this is supposed to be... This game is actually supposed to be half the universe, I think. No, we're in Northland. This is only a quarter of the world. Normally this place would be just swimming with uh, tiny human-sized ships, but they're all gone now. Locals, this may sound like a strange question, but it's a very important distinction. Did this strange man sink the boats, or did he destroy the boats? <laughs> How did uh, they choose to describe what they did to the boats? Which verb was it? Be precise. This is important. We must go to mountain, yes. <laughs> yeah, thanks to you. Good luck with that. Where's my armor shop at? I want to lose the rest of my money. Where is it? Here it is. I can't get in. I'm too excited. Ice ball. Fireball. Neither of these are extreme are incredibly useful. Hmm. Restores fight power. I could give Descar a revive on his IP and ten extra defense. That's a good deal. I'll take that.
going to make sure Descartes never dies. Yeah, having Descartes be an IP healer is a nice little idea. Get that variety in there. Long knife! Hang on, hang on. Oh, look at our spell list, nice. Really fleshing out that spell book. I'm gonna guess a Lunds. This is where we got long knives. <clears throat> this was the first uh, castle town. I think this is where... Yeah, here we go. Oh, right, I'm poor. There we go. Dog, can we do the move on you? Let's see. Let's find out. Thank you! Ghost clothes. Sorry, I don't have any ghost clothes. Long knife? I've got just the thing for that. It's a long knife! I can give you one more thing, like an iron mail. Class change. Now you are a horse with wings? I'm not sure what you are. Good job. Oh, yeah. Yeah, still a mammal. Good for him. That reminds me. Yeah, let's see if we can get a uh, hair orb up to the next level. I don't think I'll be able to with the um, resources or money I have available, but... Ooh, I've got chain armor. You are in luck, my friend. Nice! Deadly Sword. Don't have one of those. I'm so sorry. Because honestly, I would like to show off all of the uh, all of the capsule monsters. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. It sounds like a lot of work. This guy is not lowering his standards. You can go hungry for a while. Oh, you know what? I think I remember using that tactic. The, the cider tactic. The cider tactic. Okay, so now, back to Alan. Commit to egg, right. Pivot to egg. That's what all the big companies are doing nowadays. Thank you for reviving Guy, who was at full health. But I appreciate your hustle, Hair Orb. Hi, Orb. Hab. Harold. That's right, we got new spells. Why am I not trying these out? A vortex of bees. Oh no, we have just... <laughs> we have compressed them into a cone-like shape. What have we done? Okay, I think we can do better than that. Category 4, Bee Swarm. <laughs> Making its way over the gulf. know what that was, but you, you guys probably aren't going to get the chance to find out. Probably a debuff. Yeah. When it does damage, but doesn't actually do damage, it's always some kind of debuff, but it doesn't tell you what stat it is. They forgot to, like, strongly color code the numbers or something. <laughs> yeah, they've got green and yellow. That's it. Those are the only two colors. Ah, welcome to the first mountain in the game. I think this may be the last tile set. Well, except for, like, the special ones they use late game, but, yeah. 
As I've been saying throughout the game, nice little variety of environments and places See, and enemies. All the kinds of place. Mountain, cave, tower. Shrine. It's Wait, is that... Are those the same? Those are the same bees as outside. Same name. Still, really strong sucker punch there. Even to the back row. Bees do not care about rows. Also, yeah, this really triumphant mountain climbing song. Climbing up the mountain while being assaulted by bees and flowers. Hmm. This looks like a job for bomb. <clears throat> what? Flower, you are very confusing. Oh god, yeah, it's good puzzle solving. <laughs> so you can feel like an idiot. Eagle Rock, that's right, I gave that to... Oh no, that's good against flying enemies. I should be using that against bees, but I'm not, because I'm a fool. Sorry, I keep adjusting my microphone here. A lot of things loose today. A lot of things need to be tightened. Okay, trees seem less threatening than our other than some of the other monsters here. Also, stronger cost eight. That's still not very expensive for us right now. Oh yeah, much better. Thank you, Hi Ob, Hair Horb. Thank you, Horb. I get the feeling I can't sneak up on Flower. Damn it. He's trying so hard. Flower does not have a face, and also it doesn't move uh, during the idle phase, during the, the input phase. He does not dance. They do not feel the rhythm. They are connected to the earth, but they cannot feel it. Okay. they feel the rhythm, it does not compel them to move. <laughs> Dancing is forbidden. Just one! Uh, you have made a huge mistake here. No, wrong person! I wish, I wish Horb could, uh, zero in on who needs healing a bit more, but that's understandable considering that that it usually happens within the round. And even I can't affect that. I can only guess. That's just JRPGs. Sometimes you have to play anticipating the way enemies are going to hit you. I had to do that in the Gates fight, that's for sure. Guy did so much damage, you had to heal ahead of time. Oh my god! Hey, Car, what did you do? <laughs> what happened to that bee? What did you do to him? He had a family, maybe? Do bees have family units? I don't think they have family units. Most single target damage here. 
that's not bad. She's definitely worthwhile using on single targets, although I haven't been using her physical attacks at all. <laughs> Take her off the top rope! Oh my god! In all my years, I've never seen a beatdown like this. Yeah, she's a little weaker than Zaxim. Mountain, a combination of cave and outside. The best of both worlds. What if cave was tower? <laughs> yeah, what if up? Outside, but outside. <laughs> God, all of these things are dangerous. That's, that's what scares me. Uh, I can do more damage with wizard, I think. Maybe Boomerang would be good for these fights, for these full-scale B fights. I don't think I've seen Horb do any damage with his regular attack yet. Also, yeah, I, I also wish bomb attack was more common because that's a that's a multi-target. <clears throat> when all the grass grows, the door will be open. Well, there's also a bomb spot over there. Oh, okay, good. You didn't get me. You're a strong enemy. Yeah, he doesn't grow into offensive attacks until later. Yeah, that's good. Pumpkin Jewel is real nice. The attack is expensive, but really worth it. Yeah! One round! I really wish I could have, like, an on-screen, like, confetti falling thing every time I manage to win a fight in one round. It's very satisfying. I feel like JRPGs were made to be played like this, where you optimized your, your offensive capabilities and take out large groups of enemies efficiently without wasting a single attack. At that point, that's where you feel like you understand the systems involved, and you are one with the game. Or something. I don't know. I got the tree key. Sure, air horn. Yeah, like, put a, insert your own, your own celebration. <laughs> okay, so this is one of those puzzles. I have already lost. I have already lost. I did not finish Darkest Dungeon, unfortunately. The third the third dungeon was the one that kind of stopped me. I think at that point I was starting I was losing a lot of my career soldiers and it was really starting to hurt me. I don't suppose Vortex would do anything with these guys. Okay. I will say, on a side note, that my run of the second dungeon, the second darkest dungeon, is the greatest thing ever, and will never be topped in human history. It just can't be done. I'm sorry. First attempt, no deaths. Perfect run.
Uh, next, I'd be potentially interested in that kind of stuff, but a lot of that I like to do on my own. It depends on the technology involved, because if it involves like CSS or any kind of programming, that's something I do uh, not really have the expertise for. I'm just going to stare at this puzzle for a while. What are grass? <laughs> Why does it grow so fast? Hmm. No, none of that works. <laughs> none of this works. Uh, well, okay, maybe I could at least learn something here. <clears throat> ah, Photoshop stuff. Yeah, that's stuff I can handle on my own, but I, I appreciate the, uh, appreciate your enthusiasm. Yeah, if you're allowed to leave and re-enter the grass. Yeah, you definitely are. That's kind of what I'm trying to do, but you also have to leave and be able to walk through the door. You can't get yourself stuck. I feel like my first move is correct, but I'm not so sure. And you can probably do this in a number of orders. Like, I feel like this move is the first, but it leaves a hole, so it, it really can't be, can it? Wait. What if you start with that move and go out through the top? If you step onto a panel and then step back off the maze, does that make the grass grow? Oh, yeah, it does, it does. You that... can then leave one of those side ones just completely vacant. Yeah. I feel like I'm saying, if you start from the bottom here go around the right edge and then exit through the top, leaving the right exit empty. Right, okay. Oh, wait, no, that's still... Oh, well, then... No, I, I think that might enough. work. Because if ignore, I do that... Ignore both of the other exits and, you know, kind of wiggle around and cover the rest of the grass. Like this. Yeah. That's the move. The pathing is, a, is an illusion. It didn't actually matter. Another blue chest? Two blue chests in one... In one level. <gasps> I have found fire. Burn. 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 Who's you laughing know, now, grass? <laughs> we can't use this in battle or anything, but don't worry. It's, we have fire for that as well. Also, we're back to golems. Yeah, that's right. Maxim doesn't get any fire spells. What the hell, dude? Nice. Flower is paralyzed. Oh, really? They made all those moves fire in the re- The remake doesn't really have a lot of continuity, though. There's a lot- like, they took a lot of licenses. I feel like things like, uh... Like, battle mechanics and- <laughs> and that are- were the first thing to go because they turned it into an action RPG. Boy, did they ever turn it into an action RPG. Oh, no, it doesn't work on Ivy, though. Oh no. Oh wait, that's right, I have a sword. I have a sword. <clears throat> it does make sense for them to make Guy the buff man because he's the guy who follows you till like the end of the game, practically. You don't really get Descartes for admittedly that much. There is a lot of puzzle here. There's a lot going on. I have to figure out which way to, which one to start at, hidden one or this one. Monster basement looks like a punishment, actually. Yeah, 
And this is where I'm supposed to be. Okay, so fire arrows, I assume, are good for this. Yeah, that yeah, makes sense. Those, you can create places to... Hmm. So I probably need to get rid of those spikes and navigate through this. What is this? Ah, it is my reference. I see. So, let's look at this one more time. Uh, it looks like they want us to make a path, a straight path, that picks up both of those pots and puts them on the switches and then gets to the door. Because, you see, if we backtrack, we will fall down to the monster level. We don't want that. It's full of monsters. Okay, now here is where it's going to get tricky. Unless we can do stuff like this. Yes. Yeah, there we go. That's the stuff. That's a good puzzle. I like that one. Really clear what you have to do, I think. Or at least they just gave you a thing that kind of, you know... They just gave you a tool to solve it, so it's already fresh in your head. This is Fire Arrow Tutorial. And also, because we haven't had a whole lot of hook puzzles... We need more of this. We need more hookshotting. It's just fun to do, in general. Also kind of... oops. Okay. We did not get back attack. You probably can do it without pot juggling, but it's just... The, the flare! You have to have it! Let's see what elements work on these guys. See if we can figure out. Okay, cold is not good. Fire was good against them last time. Actually, now that I think about it, that will continue to make sense. We must fire the clay. These guys do not seem to be as obscenely dangerous as previous enemies. I feel like we're not going to get another fire spell for a while. Yeah, that there it is, right there. Fireball is a few towns back from when we got it, but uh, it's still the strongest fire spell we've got. Lizard Man, first boss of the game, how are you? What are you doing here? There's a good item in Monster Pit? Okay, I'll go down there and check it out. I do like me some items. Oh, I did it. I, I fucked it. Sorry. Fatal Punch! Okay, good. Zach didn't just keel over and die. That would have been kind of bad. Wow, Fireball really is the best against these enemies, huh? Nature just doesn't really like fire. Thank you, Horde, for covering Maxim. You did it. You did your job. Well done. Fire is Apex Predator. It kind of is, in this dungeon, for sure. Oh, wow. Oh, no, we're seeing some real serious physical resistance here. Feels like there's only one path through this thing, so. <clears throat> but these paths are starting to loop. Uh, 
Oh, I don't have eagle attack. No. So sad. So sad. No, Horb! Thank you for tanking those two hits for us, I guess. That actually is quite nice of you. Alright. Fire not so great on them. Ah! Hang on. That's a good hit. She must have some sort of advantage against them. I should check out her weapon. Maybe he could find something out. She has a scimitar. That's an ice attack. I don't know if the sword itself has the element, though. Like, there's got to be a reason why her attack is so much stronger than Zaxxon's. Unless Zaxxon has an elemental weapon and it's just not good. It's bronze. Hmm. That reminds me, I'm still supposed to be figuring out where to go in this hookshot maze. Ah! Okay, good. Large bees, hello. How about I use bee attack on bees? Will that work? I need to find out. Oh no, don't do that on me, no! Yeah, how do you like it? Also, thank you for covering Salon. She has the least HP. You should be healing her at all times. Okay, so I paralyzed one of them, but it did effectively nothing because he undid it at the end of his turn that he got paralyzed on. Uh, I've noticed that happening to me before, and I appreciate it, but when it works both ways, yeah. Normally, the 1.5 attacks aren't related to the weapon element, but the 3 attacks are. You're right, actually, because, like, the fire dagger and the light knife were all 3 times elements. I see. They want me to go here. Okay. Hey, lizard man, what's up? What's up? Where are you going? Oh, no! Okay. Oh, lizard shaman. Hello. Lizard take cold, right? Yes, they do. At least one of them does. The rest are just really well dressed. Shaman, not really outfitted for this thing. They also hate meteors. Yeah, I guess so. A shaman is a mage, as expected. Kind of dangerous, huh? I am now just realizing that Salon is pretty much out of magic. I should probably be a little more careful. <laughs> Love playing fluoride in our water. <laughs> also true. Sad but true. The world we live in. Controlled by lizard men. Yeah, just stay right there for a second. Thank you. Very much appreciated. You can't just turn around on me. That's not something any enemy has ever done. God, Descartes just one-shots that guy. It's kind of incredible how low Salon's HP is. Do I have any, like... I have a speed potion. I guess I should give that to Salon, because if she's the healer... Increases gut. That's... What is that? 
gun. <laughs> what does that do? Anyone know what guts are? Oh, IP gain rate. In that case, I could give that to anybody, really. Who has the lowest? Salon. The stat that reduces crit damage? What? What kind of ass-backwards system is this? Capsule Monster Fleet. God. I love when you have, like, eight stats in a game, and you're like, well, what do these stats do? And each stat does, like, two things that make sense, and then maybe two or three other things that are just, they kind of threw in there. Okay. I'll, I'll be sure to be careful of that. turns to face me. Like, yes, I know you're there. Yes, we can fight. Oh, that's right! I have no MP! I can't fireball! No! Ah, uh, hmm. 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 Here, just take it. So I can fireball them next turn. Also here, let's perish. Let's die. Got him. Yeah, you take that 8 MP back, enough to cast one spell. Or be cured the one person that didn't have HP missing. We did it. Is there a boss in this level? I don't remember. It might be a little tough to beat a boss with literally no MP. Or this could be it. Let's find out. Well, there's a save point. <laughs> Your ship is dead, dude. Oh, it's a good thing I came here to get a tree so I can make a ship. <laughs> ah, there is a boss. All right. Unfortunately, Oh, I didn't save at all this stream. All right, we'll uh, kill the monster. You take a cease when you finish that boat. Okay, come back in three years. <laughs> I know, right? No, he said he was the best shipmaker. That means he can just do it in a few seconds. When someone is the best at something in an RPG... It's the, the perfect tree for shipmaking and that the tree itself is already boat-shaped. <laughs> Also, I just looked into... Wait, where, where did I see in the save menu? Yeah, it's just Fant. This area is Fant. Welcome to Fant. <laughs> I was about to ask where that monster was, and then... Alright. Yeah, lions. Lions could be a problem. Everything else on this mountain is a goddamn, you know, golem or flower or tree. How about a mountain lion? Oh, ouch! Okay, we're gonna have to be careful, huh? Hmm. Not too much damage. Not an absurd amount of damage like I was hoping for.
Maybe I can stun them? Please don't hit so long. Thank you. That would have been real bad. That would have kind of gimped me a bit. Yes, please go after Dekar and Guy. They have the armor for this. Nice. Okay. I bet that would do a lot of single target damage, and they do not have that much health. I think we got this. Oh, because they're normal enemies later. <laughs> they're not strong enemies, they're not bosses. Also, that's some real damage there. Shalon is the secret MVP of this fight, I guess. Ah, Dekar can still do it. No one can beat Dekar. I'm sorry. I think we have conquered the mountain. Also, uh, Mr. J Mr. Shipbuilder, you need a hook shot to get to the tree. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. <laughs> this man is in awe at this tree. Look at this magnificent organism that has lived for 300 years. I'm gonna kill that thing. That whole thing only weighs four grams. <laughs> the lightest ship. You just attach like a like a helium balloon to it. Not even like a big one, like a regular one. <laughs> Float it around. <coughs> oh right, we have to do the instant transmission. You were gonna walk down that mountain like an idiot. Ha! Look at this moron who doesn't know what a what a spell is. <laughs> spell sick. Is that a thing like in D and D? Where is, does this come from somewhere? It comes from a joke. I guess. They're having a joke. It's just, you can never tell if it's the translation being a bit quirky or not. No one has ever been off this continent in their life. None of us can warp. What? Well, gonna go drink. Bye. Also, Zaxum is just real quiet right now because he kind of wants. What? Why? Why can't I? I I don't make ships. Exactly. Now that's a joke. Car, I think you need to work on your delivery a little bit. No one's making your ship right now. Our ship is the only one that matters. So 
I guess we're just resting for a little bit. While we're here... Maybe I can get him to, uh... Stop being a jerk. What's really cheap that I can feed to him? Actually, that cider might work, because that stuff is real cheap. While, uh, while I'm here, what is the cider that I use for that strategy? For, for rank 2, uh... For rank 2 capsule monsters, because I could just buy a bunch of that. That seems like it would be somewhat relevant to me. So, if I'm right, and I understand how this works... Oh, it's the expensive one? Okay. There we go, there's our long knife. What's with the ghost clothes? Why do you want ghost clothing? So that's the strategy, I guess. While well, I'm here, might as well feed him what I got. Get that last rank. That last two rank. Oh. Apple cider, huh? Goodbye, money. Oh, right. I can't leave this town right now. I forgot. <laughs> this is like the one time where the game stops you from leaving town. Ugh. Fine. You win. <clears throat> Ghost clothes cost $35,000! God, Harrow, why do you have such expensive taste? You do not yet have the power to back up that, that taste. I'm sorry. Also, I think I just need to stay here for a few days until our ship is ready. Where's my ship? There it is! Look at that beautiful tiny ship. It's really impressive how you made that person-sized ship in a matter of three days. Guy is too hungover to party anymore. It's time to go back to adventuring. <laughs> Where did we want to go? That's a good question. Ancient cave. I'll, uh, I'll at least, like go check out the town there. I do want to go look at it real briefly. Also to basically get it in our uh, warp inventory. So here we are, finally unlocked boat travel. At least not the kind we can control just yet. But still, we can now access a variety of new things. A new corridor on the world map. No one understands the ancient cave. It changes every time you go in. Oh, I can buy long knives here? Good, that's fortunate. Okay. Yeah, it's different every time. It's a roguelike dungeon. 
Maps are useless. Uh, you don't get to take anything with you. Your party goes down to level one. And the monsters go down accordingly and get stronger until you hit level 100. Uh, of course, you get everything back when you leave and or die, which is more likely. You're most likely going to die or escape if you get down to level 20. Uh, level 20, you can... After level 20, you can find the item that lets you escape. And there are some ultra-rare items in blue chests that you can take with you. If you see a blue chest, you absolutely want that chest. Without a doubt. B25. Yeah, that's pretty low, honestly. That's where I think I will make it on my first attempt. Iris Treasures. You know, I have absolutely no idea what these Iris Treasures do. I don't know what their deal is. I found may maybe like one or two of them. <laughs> you get ten potions when you enter the cave. That's what you start with. But they are very important potions, because that's all you get. <laughs> that's right, you also find spells, too. It's really cool that we do that. Like I said, don't get too excited. This, this requires a lot of time. I will not be dedicating my stream today to that. Oh, a long sword. Long sword is not a long knife. It's different. Uh-huh. War rapier might be nice for a salon, if I could afford it, which I can't. Yeah, this stuff is... Some of this stuff is new. Big shield. There's another shop. I'm addicted on the ancient cave. I've died there 30 times last month. A buyback shop? Is it in this town? Not familiar with that. Also, there doesn't seem to be anything else here. Or is it in the cave? Could be in the cave. Yeah, Casino Town. We're not there yet. That's not for a while, actually. So, I think what I'll do is I will warp to a lunge, get some long knives. as many long knives as I can afford right now because while we're almost done with the uh, with the capsule monsters we currently have we've only got three of them and there are seven yeah we still got four more of these things to find so yeah all right we're gonna take a short break short five minute break and we'll be right back with more Lufia.